Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox, and today in Buildbox Tips, in balls, everybody knows balls. Um, but what I really like, a well, one piece, I like it so much of it, this game, um, is how when the ball hits the block, it breaks up. And so what today I'm going to do is show you how you can do something similar in Buildbox. You hit, when he hits that one, it'll like that. Um, they do it cooler than I know how to do it, but still I can get the basic fundamentals of how that is done in BuildBox. So let's, let's get started. This is actually going to be from scratch. So this is good. Let's go ahead and move a lot of this stuff around. These. Oh, that didn't move this guy. Move that here. And you know, I've, ha I've had some issues with the. So right now, the veloc linear velocity is 67. So that speed that in which the. which it spawns out is 67. The question is, is does it go straight up? Like the arrow always confuses me because I believe sometimes the arrow is incorrect. Okay, so it's the Alt and or Option button to cause the active connection mode to work. Let's see if this... Okay, okay. If this makes it shoot up, I will be a happy camper. Oh, let's go camping! Okay. That's exactly what I wanted. Now, let's get the... Now, these are going to be the enemy. We're going to have a red one, a blue one, oops, a blue one, a yellow one, a green one. So let's get these guys smaller. Again, I am just doing um, the breakaway, how the balls break up. Uh, nothing more, but I do think it's cool. So I'm going to copy this. Oh. This is kind of the cool part of just being able to copy and paste everything. So these are the objects. Okay, so what's important here is the defeated animation. Go in here. And I want to select the yellow brick, but if I do, infinite loop would be created. And you never want an infinite loop because it freezes your computer. And then you're like, what do I do now? So. Just gonna grab another yellow block and another object. So there's gonna be two of them now. Uh, the current scale, I believe, is 0.25 uh, x the, the size of it. So uh, let's go ahead and just add 0.25 so we can see what 0.25 looks like. And then linear velocity and angular velocity. Now let's take a look at the video again. So when a ball gets hit, let's go play a player. Turn the volume up because this guy's just talking all the time. Now right, slow down. So here we go. So you just see a bunch of things fly around. So in order to do that, I think I want, yeah, so I want. 5 and 15 so to have a bigger with my sexy face. 5 5 and 15 and then 2 and 6. This is just one and this is just for testing purposes. So let's go ahead and hit play. See how that looks. <laughs> I 
Okay, that, that did not work. Um, what am I missing here? Single shooting, okay, character bullet. Okay, look at that, and then it disappears. And I must have hit two, but go into here. Now you want to change the frame rate to like what did I have it yesterday at uh, thirty? When you don't know, you just you just literally play around. And so you saw, and I'll let's do it again actually. You see how they're like fraction of the size. So what we're going to do is, honestly, I'm going to make it even smaller. And then I'm going to make like a cube. Three, four across, let's go five across, one. So now all of these spread out. But <clears throat> still not still not that cool so what we're gonna do is literally change the opacity and not all of them but you just kind of want to like keep it random each piece will fly in some direction and it will add that nice and honestly I kind of want to at minimum make them all 0.9 I don't want any point, uh, point, or oh, I'm sorry, I don't want any ones because then that would literally be the same, um, same color as the original, or maybe one or two. You see what I'm doing here. So again, frame rate has been changed to 30. I've changed a bunch of these. And I keep wanting to change it, so let's... Okay, so take a look now. Um, and hold on, for some reason... Looks like there's a hotkey or uh, command. Okay, cool. Let's do it. Here we go. Cool. Okay, let's just a green. Let's move this one down. But character balls don't bounce off of these. Now I'm just going to make them physics object that destroy enemy. <laughs> okay, don't make them physics object. Uh, and destroy enemy. Seventy-five looks like it's too much, but we're definitely in the ballpark. Okay, so yellow is done. Let's go do green. And what what size did we do for here? Oh, that's strange. Oh, because that's the second yellow block. This is a uh, yellow block. Uh, oh, face is it moving?
Oh my god. And because it's manual, I literally forgot to set all of these. Uh, so I'm going to delete all of them. All but one. And I came up with the, the ratio that I did. Actually, if I'm going to delete all of them, I might as well just make them smaller as well. Uh, if this was like a real game and not a tutorial, then I would totally, totally go the extra mile. So what did we say? Five, 15, two, and six. Okay, so. Oh, I think, did I make the yellow ones physics objects? Platform first. Okay, so, so let's take a look. Uh, I hit no green on that one. Yeah. Consistency, the, the time is incorrect. So let's go here, hit it, hit it, hit it. Uh, these are all set, so let's uh, change them to 20. Oh, I can just do that for the whole thing. And do that. Let's go ahead and add it 65. We want a little more power. Yeah, and that's how you create the similar disperse effect that's in balls. Um, the biggest thing here that I th think you need to know is when you grab it, you need to have it and set it to the front. Like if this is in the back, here, let's, let's sh I'll show you. These are all to the back. Then you're just going to be missing, or not missing, but you're... It won't look as cool. See, it's still kind of cool, but like, it's cooler when, the, when it's in front. And that's how you do the uh, block destroy mechanism that's similar to balls. Uh, if you like this video, please like. If you have any comments, questions, insights, please let me know. And I'll see you at the next video.